In this lesson, you're going to learn how to edit painted designs. We're going to open an existing design, and this folder is found in your Bernina Design Works sample folder, the Paintwork folder, and the file is called Bernina 005. When you click on Open, the design will appear on your screen. One thing that we can do in editing painted designs is to change the outline around objects. You'll see that this is currently a single line around this leaf and all we have to do is click on zigzag if we want the line to have um, more emphasis and be thicker. We can also put a check mark in front of density and change the density of that, that line and press enter to activate. You can also change the offset, and if we apply a positive number, the outline will go outside the object, and if we apply a negative number, the outline will go inside the object. And we'll simply click on Undo twice to restore the original change. If we want to select multiple leaves, all we need to do is hold down the control key as we are selecting the outline around the leaf. And then we can make that change to all the leaves at once simply by clicking on zigzag. As far as editing fills, we have several things that we can do to our painted fills. This first flower, we're going to turn into a row fill. And both zigzag as well as row fill have, can have more than one direction. A fill painted fill only has one direction. With the row fill, we can of course change the density and press enter to activate. If we do not like that change, then simply click on undo. If we need some more information about the row fill, simply click on the help icon, then click on row fill, and you can read about all the different things that you can do with the row fill. You can scroll through the reference manual or the scroll to the previous page of the manual as well. With this second flower, we're going to leave this as a row or as a fill and change the density to 2.5. This will recreate a stripe effect. The third flower will change to a paint net fill and change the cell size to 1.5 and we get a polka dot effect using the paint net fill and changing the cell size. We can also change the angle of the cell as well. For the grouped flower, we can make a more solid look by also using the paint net fill, but decreasing the cell size to 0.5 millimeter. And you can see how it really looks like it's much more solid. One other thing that we can do to um, our painted fills with a paint net fill is we can let, leave them as a checkerboard and by leaving the defaults as they are, we are able to get this checkerboard effect. Zoom in if you have trouble selecting the fill and then click on how you wish to change it. Let's choose a leaf and look at the paint fill in this. With a fill painted fill, we can change the direction of the painted line by selecting the direction icon and then clicking and dragging across the painted fill. If we want to delete that, all we have to do is click on the X or if we decide we want it back, just click and drag and the fill changes direction. Now with zigzag or row fills, we can also divide our leaf. And this 
can be used to give a leaf dimension. So what we'll first do is divide that leaf by cutting across the leaf, and then we can add direction to each side, and it will give this leaf more dimension. Of course, we can always convert our painted draw fill to a crystal cut or outline design as well. So this design is ready to save and then export to the machine for painting.